Those are your hands. Those are your hands. I think you should just come home with me. You're watching Rocking at the Movies with Shane Comey White. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Hello and welcome everybody, it's me again. We are on day two of our countdown all the way down to Christmas and I hope that you're enjoying it so far. Last week we touched on Home Alone and this week we're going to touch on another classic from 1990 called Edward Scissorhands. Um, one of my favorite movies as well from back in the day. I remember studying this at school. It was quite intense and everyone was like, oh, we got to watch this movie again and again. But for me it was, oh, I've got to watch this movie again and again and I really enjoyed it. There was so much to it. So much beauty when it comes to the contrast of the dark and dingy kind of castle vibe to the very light-hearted, colorful town that everyone lived in that was below the castle. And it kind of reminded me a lot of Beauty and the Beast. And um, where you've got the, the beauty who plays by, or was played by Renata Ryder, and she's Kim in the movie. And then you've got the Beast, who is Edward Scissorhands. Now, the whole concept of this movie is Edward was a robotic boy that was made by his so-called father who is the inventor of the village or the town and he died before he was able to complete him so that's why he ended up with the scissors as his fingers which is quite an interesting concept but he gets found by kim's mum, who is an avon lady and it's quite quite interesting because i don't even know if you have avon ladies and why avon sales people even tupperware sales um but they used to go from door to door to try sell their avon and they their phrase is Avon calling. Um, so she decided, let's go up to the castle. Maybe there's someone there that she's never been able to sell to because she's been selling to all of her friends and family and it's the same concept, the same sales all the time. Um, she goes up there and she stumbles across these beautiful manicured gardens of um, creatures and animals and anything weird or wonderful that was carved out as if someone has stayed there for hours making these beautiful bushes and plants and stuff um but long story short go watch this movie before i give away all the spoilers because i can talk about this and all the other movies we're going to be doing but i'm just going to give you some of the points as well um she stumbles across edward and she realizes that edward's got very very pale damaged skin because of all the scars he's got and you learn that the scars come from his fingers and many, many different things happen where he punctures waterbeds, which I don't even know if half of you know what a waterbed is, but um, I've always wanted one when I was younger. It's like, imagine sleeping on a big pillow of water. Um, I'm digressing, that's what I tend to do, so please try follow with me because this is what I do. I go, I go weird and wonderful directions the whole way through all of my discussions. But Edward goes down to the village with Kim's mom, and she kind of welcomes him in and starts encouraging him and putting makeup on him to kind of cover all of those scars and eventually Kim comes home from a camp or a or a school tour or something else like that and the whole Beauty and the Beast vibe that's where it kind of starts where the villagers see that this guy's a very weird kind of person but they like him because he can do all of those plant manicured sculptures but then he decides to cut a dog's hair and he's cutting the dog's hair into this strange kind of look and style that a dog shouldn't normally have so then people start coming through to him and he starts looking after the dogs in the in the, the town until one lady there's always a dodgy lady like someone who's very seductive and very flirtatious she asks if edward can cut her hair and then it becomes a massive craze again um where he cuts all the ladies hair and starts this this chain of ladies coming through for these fancy weird wonderful very weird wonderful hairstyles i'm amazed that we don't see half of those hairstyles running around today and no, it's quite weird um but yeah so everything's all good until something goes wrong and edward gets roped in by kim's boyfriend who wants to rob his his father's house to get certain things from there and he can only do that with edward's um, scissor fingers because it can unlock locks and a whole range of different things and that's where the trouble starts and then Edward starts getting hunted and because of that he gets scared and he hurts people, he hurts Kim by mistake and then he gets hunted by the, the villagers and the boy who who hired him or roped him in to actually do the, the crime um, starts hunting him down, chasing him down and scares him back into the castle 
But it's such a beautiful Christmassy kind of movie. Lots of color, snow everywhere, snowfall with sculptures and ice sculptures. And it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful movie. It's very heart, heartwarming and touching. Sad at times, I'm not going to lie to you, you're going gonna to feel like, oh my goodness, shame this poor guy. He has nothing. He's got no one. He then gets a family who then turns on him and the whole thing kind of just falls apart. But then it goes back to how Kim, at her older age, actually still looks up and sees a snowfall that is brought to you by Edward because he is chopping up ice with his fingers. Sorry, I gave it away. I told you, there's going to be a lot of spoilers within this whole 24-day um, experience because we have to go through the movies and it's pointless me just saying oh it was a nice movie yeah it looked very good i'm going to give you more and i'm going to encourage you to go and watch this movie and i would like for you to tell me what do you think about the movie what do you think about the the imagery and what what it does to you do you like the movie would you watch it again and if not let us know what movie you'd prefer as well because you never know i might even touch on that and actually see some movies that we can even touch on down the line might be part of this Christmas countdown. You never know this Advent calendar or I'll do it at a later stage. But tell me what you think and also what do you think of um, Johnny Depp at that time? You know, everyone thought he was weird there, but then he became Pirates of the Caribbean or Jack Sparrow and he's still weird. So is that him? Who knows? But um, let me know what you think. Drop us a comment. Please don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up button because it allows this video and the channel to spread a lot further so we can get more interaction and we can then start building up our community to start making more movies now going into that this is my time where i'm going to encourage you to don't forget to hit that um super thanks button and start being part of hsc protections and myself in rocking at the movies to start bringing you the movies that you would like. Now we're in the process of making a whole range of different movies. I've got 14 scripts that we are going to produce internally and we need your support. We'd love you to be part of the movie, whether it be a cameo, whether it be executive producer role, whether it be complete funding or even sponsorship. Um, it could even be uh, products in the movie that we could even start um, showcasing for you if you wish. And we would like your interest and like your input. So come and join our family. Any kind of uh, super thanks or any donation or anything that is generated from this channel is going straight into the movie itself. We're going to produce it. It's a development kind of structure to help um, struggling actors who have never actually had the experience to be in a movie. We start working them in. We're teaching them how to do the stunts. We're doing all the stunts ourselves. We're getting the, the crew to bring their equipment and any little bit of help will start helping them so we can produce stuff for you. And you'll be part of it. You'll be in the credits of the movie. You'll be listed as X, Y, and Z was part of this movie and they brought you the movie itself. So you will have your name on a movie that is going to be sold to whoever would like to buy it. And we're going to be putting it on Netflix. We've got some buyers there that hopefully are going to lap up this movie as soon as it's done and the other movies because we've got some fantastic ones. Um, and you will also get a credit on IMDb as a contributing donator, a don donor, <laughs> I'm fumbling my words here again, a contributing donor of the movie itself. And the one that the movie I'm talking about is AA, Assassin's Anonymous. So I'm going to be launching something very soon um, on here that you're going to be seeing that you could also start becoming a fan of the various different um, assassins in the movie and start doing a little bit of a challenge with the fans, with the, the assassins as well. So you do not worry myself on that. It's going to be something quite fantastic that I'm launching very soon. But please, send us a, a, a super thanks and I will definitely thank you on the next video as soon as they come up. I'll do a, a day of, of all the super thanks down the line or closer to Christmas. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this movie. I hope that you enjoyed this, this episode of the Christmas calendar countdown or the advent calendar for 2024. And we are almost at Christmas. It's a few days away and I'm really excited because I love Christmas. And I hope that this is bringing you a little bit of the Christmas vibe and the spirit that is so needed in today's world. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great one and see you soon. Cheers, bye. You're watching Rocking at the Movies, which means you might. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment.